is up guys, welcome back to Predatory Exotics. Today we're going to be rehousing our giant Congo Mantis into an Exoterra Nano wide enclosure. So we've had this going for a little, uh, quite a little while now. Uh, we are in belief that it is a female um, and it has molted a couple times so it's just getting a bit too big for its current tub which is in there and um, we wanted to upgrade it into a bigger one because this, this gal is going to get quite large when it's fully grown. So this is the Exoterra Nano Wide Terrarium that I talked about before. It is 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters or an eight inch cube. Um, and it's quite good because it's got a mesh top which allows for a lot of ventilation and ventilation at the front. Um, with the Nano as opposed to the smalls, you only get one door. Um, so it depends if your species you're putting in is a little bit faster. You do only have one sort of um, door to open from. So you can't open one door and keep the other door closed. Um, and we bought this new, so it comes with the background. I'm not sure if you can get the nano background separately. Um, some of them you can't always get separately, but it comes with this nice background that we think we think looks pretty naturalistic for what it is. All right, so we're gonna start off by putting in our substrate, and as usual, we are gonna be using what he's currently on in there. There's a small bit in, but of course we're gonna be adding a lot more into this one. And that is, of course, the Arcadia Earth Mix Supercharged, um, which we use in all of our videos, you know that we, uh, we use it all the time, so we're going to be adding that in now. So next up we are going to be adding in this uh, free vine that we had just lying around uh, and we're going to melt, uh, mold it and like bend it into fitting into this tank. Um, we're hoping it will fit how we want it to fit, we kind of have an idea in our head, uh, but it's just going to be about bending it and uh, we'll let you see how it goes. So guys, we had to get a pair of side cutters um, to cut the branch down because it was a little bit too big, it was a little bit too crowded. Obviously when the mantis is molting, you want to leave it enough room that it can hang down and molt without sort of anything interfering with it because that could make it, um, that could cause a bad molt, um, it wouldn't dry out properly. So we cut it down so it's a little bit smaller and it gives more air space inside the tank. So uh, we will give you a close up of course at the end where we've set it all up um, uh, to show you guys a little bit uh, closer up so you can see the more detail. But next up we're probably going to add some moss in as well to give it a bit more texture. Uh, and we've got the uh, Exoterra um, two layer uh, moss, the Spangler moss at the top um, which we're just going to kind of sprinkle in there as well. So we put that in there, sort of the sort of main essentials you need in your tank. Um, we're also going to add in some of these fake plants we used last time. Um, we just cut them off like an aquarium plant type thing. Um, this is just going to add a bit more colour um, and a little bit more sort of naturalistic look to the tank. Okay, so now that we've added in uh, the fake leaves as well, I think it's time now to actually put the mantis in there. So before we put them in, obviously this is a giant Congo mantis, um, so they are from the Congo, which is quite a tropical region. So we are going to have to just give this a little spray down. As Ollie said, obviously the moss is going to hold in that humidity and raise the humidity so that when it does come to the time that it needs to molt, it can molt successfully and won't have any problems. So now it's time to get him out and uh, put him in the new tank. so much bigger than when we put him in before. He's not going to want to crawl off now, is he? <laughs> there we go. And he's in. And as you can see, guys, um, he has he has eaten recently, so he's got a nice big abdomen. He's actually changed colour quite a bit since we first got him. Like you can see the sort of turquoisey purple colours on his abdomen, which are quite nice as well. And time to put the lid on. And 
and now he is in, so it's probably going to be time for him to explore, um, and hopefully he enjoys his new enclosure. So for this tank we haven't actually added any extra heating and lighting because we don't actually need it for this species. It's kept in a warm area um, and a well lit area, not obviously in direct sunlight that would warm up the tank if it got too hot. Um, but it keeps it nice and warm, nice and light and it doesn't need any extra stuff. So this tank will last this uh, gal for a few more malts. Um, up until kind of the actual final stage and once it's then uh, you probably will want to get a 30 or 40 centimetre one tall. Uh, but for right now, this is its new home. Yeah, so Ollie mentioned about upgrading the tank. Um, this is obviously the Nano Cube that's 2020-20. Um, you can get the Nano Taller one, which is a 2020 base still, but it's 30 centimeters high. Obviously with your mantises, you want the enclosure to be two to three times the height of your mantis. This, so, this means so when it's molting, it can hang down from the top or the branches in the enclosure, and it won't hit the bottom and have a bad molt. So this tank might look quite big for it right now, but of course right now we are hand feeding it, um, as you can see on our Instagram as well. Um, so it's not gonna have an issue finding the prey because you know it gets nice one large meal and uh, then it will be fed a few days later if it's hungry. So if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as going over to the Instagram page so you can check out all the daily updates on all our different reptiles and invertebrates. So we hope you have enjoyed our quick little setup for our Congo Mantis and we're really excited for this girl to grow up and hopefully maybe one day breed, uh, look into breeding the Mantis. But we hope you have enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks.